Okay, so in this part we're going to look at uh, writing to a CSV file and it pretty much works in the sort of exact same manner. Um, and what I mean by that is we still open the text file, we still assign it a mode and we still assign it to a sort of object. We give it, we give the, uh, the file, a copy of the file and store it as an object. So I'm going to run through, I'm going to keep this code as before, that we had before I'm just going to run through um, right into the text file. So again, like I said, the same as before with open, and it's going to be the same text file. Not txt. This time, I'm going to put the mode as right. Now, I would put it to append, but I want to show you what happens when we leave it as w and, and right. Going to open that up, same as before as score file. Colon. Next line. This is where we're going to change it slightly different. So, score file, we used reader before, this time we're going to use writer. So, score file writer is equal to the CSV dot writer function. Open the brackets, what object is it you're uh, writing to? Well, it's going to be score file. Close the brackets. So, then it's going to sort of ask us, well, what, what do you want to write? Um, you know, where's this information coming from that you want to add to it um, and where's it stored so I'm just gonna put after we print out the score list so I'm gonna put that down a few lines I'm gonna ask five questions so for name surname score one two and three I've already got the code built for me so I can just paste it in so I'm gonna ask for the for name the surname the score one two and three so I'm just gonna cheat a little bit usually this would be um, the scores would be accumulated from an actual test but in this example it's not really worth going through the extens extensive um, process of building a test just to test our write into a CSV file code so what we're going to do now is we're going to write a row to our CSV file so to do so score file writer is equal to CSV, no, sorry. So what we're going to do is we're going to say score file writer and it's going to have some functions built into this object now because we've assigned it um, the CSV writer sort of class. So CSV uh, score file writer, and if we hit the full stop eventually we should have a drop down list uh, up here it doesn't seem to be doing it this time around. It did it before. Okay, it doesn't want to do it now, but we can type right row. I've got an extra R. So right row. So it's going to then obviously be going to be asking for us well, what what information, where's this information coming from that you want me to write to the row. In these brackets, I'm going to have two square brackets. Well, an open close square bracket, and then inside this. I'm going to pull the information from forename, surname, score 1, 2, and 3. So, very simple, we just have to type forename, comma, surname, comma, score 1, comma, score 2, comma, score 3. Okay, so that's the information we want to write to our file. And then again, score file.close, we're going to close it, there's no need to keep it open. And just before, so I'm going to save it. Just before I run this, I want to bring up the scores uh, notepad file. So there you can see my code. So if I just run this now, oh, wrong button, F5. There we go. Um, I'll bring the scores up. So it's printed out the contents. Well, there are the contents. Fantastic. We know that works. So let's make up a name. We're going to say. Uh, Andy Jackson is he did well on the test so 9, 8 and then finally got 10 so there's no real confirmation after we've done it that anything's worked it's just ended the program and not give us any feedback so as you can see I've got the scores open here and it's got those three results and it's got uh, the three pupils and the th their, th their three results as well I'm just going to copy this and you'll see why in a second um, mainly because I don't want to lose the information after I have to type it again but if I close this file down now 
and if I open up this scores text file we can see that what it's done is it's overwritten this entire file with that single piece of information well this the five pieces of information that single row and the reason why it's done this is because as we said before about the um, mode we chose it to write which takes the whole of the content erases it and then writes the new content so we could import all the content previously from the um, text file save it as a list and then all we ha would have to do is append this information to the end of that list and then write that list to the text file so what, what we're effectively doing is we're adding that the entire the text file into a variable and then we're going to add an extra piece of information to the variable and then we're going to take the contents of that variable and <laughs> store it back into the text file now if you've got a comma separated value file that has thousands of lines of um, piece of information and you know dozens of columns of values that can get quite um, memory intensive it can take up a lot of memory so an easier way to do this is to use the append mode now I'm sure I mentioned in the previous video we just have to type the first letter of the word so a for append and as you remember I copied that information before so I'm just going to paste it in file save so that's the file we've got next time we open it up so now it's append so if I give this another run and it's going to ask us to save it, just click OK you can see we've got all the information back so Andy Jackson score is uh, 8 and then he got a 9 and then a 10 he did better this time um, all the way around and now again we don't get any confirmation however if I check our scores file we can see it's appended it and it hasn't quite worked the way we want it to work and it hasn't appended it to the next line but we can start to build upon this um, to start appending to a document, a CSV file, rather than either wiping the content or copying all the content into a variable, then taking that variable and putting it back in. So, a few tweaks, we can get this to be on the next line, um, and it would work perfectly fine. So that's how we write to a, um, a CSV file. In the next video, I will show you how we can sort of take the content and manipulate it a bit more um, for sort of reprinting out certain pieces of information.